Now, let's look at the... Today we want to look at some of the fixes we've done concerning um, um, uh, a project um, within the total she's belt. We're looking at the concordant gold cross vein found in total she's belt. We all know that uh, there are different she's belts within Nigeria. Mainly we've actually, the literature have about 12 she's belt and the total she's belt is the 13th one that uh, seems to be less reported and uh, new workings and interesting realization are actually found within this she's belt. The total she's belt found within the Nasara state, the FCT, in the Niger and part of Kaduna state. Now, um, some of the gold mineralization in Nigeria are actually of two main types in terms of uh, um, uh, mineralization occurrence. Yeah. We talk about the primary and the secondary mineralization. The primary gold mineralization is actually uh, mainly associated with the the quartz veins, the reefs, and the sphingers with different morphologic types, which may include the concordant veins or discordant vein system. The concordant vein system is actually the, the one we've seen in Dick's field work. The concordant vein system is like um, is flat line. It's opposite of the discordant, which is the dike. So what we are looking at here is, looks like a seal. Again, the primary mineralization can be of um, wall rocks and also common to common adjacent to known veins and may be impregnated with some green sulfide minerals like the lead, the copper, or as free gold. They also occur as limonitic quartz veins, stained reddish brown to yellow in color sometimes, associated with some sulfide, galena and pyrite which is often uh, into the nice sick wall rock, providing localized hallows of enrichment. Here you can see the, mainly the, the location is at, looking at the suffix uh, prospect, and you can see these are some of the walls on the suffix looks so, the environment looks so disturbed, highly disturbed. There's no doubt, uh, the two major faults we've seen from the aeromagnetic maps are uh, actually responsible for this, for this uh, mineralization. And the suffix, you can also observe some meta sediments and some, uh, and some Moscovites. So this is um, the first thing we observed is the meta, meta sediments, you can see the suffix. These are the quarks. You can look, you can see them here. So these are some of the observations right from the suffix. Then we'll move forward to to look at some of the areas of the ob observing some of the rocks at the suffix. So some also some boulders or baltite shapes. Then this peak is where the sampling is being carried out to to observe if there's any, any possibility of gold within this pit. You can see the, the local method of, of washing here, um, the sluice box. This is the sluice. This is uh, some of the guys that are involved in some artisanal work around here. Then this is the major the major area that actually have been opened up with excavator, you can see a kind of um, um, signs of vein in here in a discordant position. So you can see the excavator actually opened up this place. This is philitic schist with some um, 
quartz veins and muscovites, biotites actually seen in this place. You can see the you can see some primary uh, kind of some veinings around here um, and uh, some iron stains. This is just joints and a lot of other um, pressures also come up from come up from uh, mechanical pressure. That is that is the cause there. That is the cause carrying gold in this. You can see that the cause carrying gold. That's the cause here. That's the cause carrying gold. This was actually gotten from from the pits, from the height to the pit to, to the depth where this was actually gotten. Uh, it's about twenty meters. Twenty meters depth. And this is actually a primary source. Um, the primary source, actually, the primary gold mineralization. You can see, you can see as it's a flat lying quartz vein. The same direction with the foliation. This measures up to a meter. This is actually left here as a support. You can see if that is the phyllites holding that the phyllite hosting the the quartz uh, the 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 quartz intruded phyllites schist you can see the vein you can see the you can see the foliation you can see the, that is is actually of the same direction so before we um, we when we came here we are trying to understand if there's an overturn that possibly that must have turned this to look like seal. But looking at the foliation and um, the foliation and the foliation with that of of uh, the quad vein, uh, they are they are all lying parallel, lying in the same direction, showing that possibly it might be truly um, a seal. This is the tunnel actually made by some of these guys here to win some of uh, win the gold, possibly win the gold from the quartz vein here. You can see the, the pyrites. That is the last nature of the, py the pyrites here. See some of the guys relaxing. <laughs> hey! Wow! Oh, you see, that is the guy there doing the work. So, how much, how many grams have you gotten today? <laughs> Only God that knows. Only God that knows how many grams they gave me. Hey. Wow. Actually, this is a very sensitive information. Anyway, you can see uh, the, you can see the, you can see the quartz here. That is, that is the quartz, quartz vein carrying gold, pyritic impregnation, um, impregnation here. Okay, I see. I see, I see, I see. Okay, so the quads, this quads were actually here before you took no, it no. out. Mm, it was here. They it was here. here. They have been transporting it to the. Okay, it was here. That is it. Yeah. Wow. You guys are trying. There's so much. You can see the rigs that um, some of risk uh, these uh, guys usually take here. That is most of uh, the fractures, uh, um, some joints were absorbed from outside actually uh, as a result of mechanical uh, strikes from the, the work they are doing and that of excavator. Can see, can see the Muscovite, the Parite, the 
shiny and the luster of fate. This is actually one of the best locations that gold has been won. The so thickness far is almost from what they said. The thickness is almost one meter. You can see it's a line in the same yeah. direction. In the same yes, thing, it's a flat line. It's not dipping. It's not dipping, actually. Not dipping. There are an interesting thing, possibly saying that uh, yeah. the, uh, there could be more massive gold mineralization wow. within this location. So, this is the major rock. Where is the major rock? This one? Mm. This. We couldn't, um, at Dick's end, oh. we couldn't see the 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 end of the squad what of this okay all this Can yes see. all this all I this that's the biotite piece wow oh sanudi aiki oh. you can see we actually also try to see if there is any form of overturn within the flitic schist here but uh, that is not observed from this video you can see you can see that the foliation you can see that this is discordant so this is discordant these are just some man-made kind of fracture here you see this this actually shows us that what we are looking at might be a, a concordant um, quasi uh, quasi vein. So there is some of uh, the joints that are actually filled with, uh, uh, with some iron stains. That is that is the quasi vein. This was actually left for a support at the entrance. Of the tunnel from here to the suffix is about 20 meters so you can there is another there is uh, some of the joints also observed in this location These are the are the suffix. I'm just standing right uh, on top of the vein. But this location is about 385 meters above sea level. You can see that what we are seeing here. Uh, the the environment is highly distorted. It's highly disturbed. The topography is not uh, the topography is not they're just gentle. If you look at here, you can see so you see some hills, the ridge, um, the way it looks. So actually, we we don't look for gold in in uh, <coughs> plexics that are not actually metamorphic. It's used more. Whatever we see, all the gold we actually seen in Nigeria are found within the basement uh, complex. And the basement complex comprises of uh, the schist belt, the schist belt, the younger granite, and the metasedimentary uh, rocks. <laughs> 